What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. When we just previously saw it was the beginning of episode three, Long Road Ahead. Um, Kenny and I were going to get some supplies. Some crazy girl came out of the alleyway. We chose to either save her or leave her behind. We left her behind so she could draw the walkers closer to her, buying us more time to get supplies, and we got a crap ton. And now Lily, <clears throat> me, Kenny, and Carly are all in one big argument. I am obviously going to be siding with Kenny. I know Lily lost her dad, but let's let's face it, nobody really liked her dad, nobody really likes her. So I'm going to be siding with Kenny and Carly on this one. Let's see how this end, the end of this fight hopefully goes down. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. I see that, Kenny. And you know what about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night, what then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. <clears throat> All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. Made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Why is it not Look, easy for me? Macon and his people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now, everybody get out. Well then, somebody is a drama queen. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. Do you understand? She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I like if you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Yeah. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. <clears throat> with her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. All right. <clears throat> so now... <clears throat> Excuse me, my gosh. <clears throat> so now, Carly wants to talk to us whenever we have time. Lily is getting all worked up, and I guess somebody has been stealing our supplies. Let's see if we can go talk to her. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. Yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. Lily. That's all and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, <clears throat> oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see hmm. the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. 
Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. <laughs> well then. Um, what are you doing there? Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. And I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> okay, you're Robin. Yes. <clears throat> what do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> Broken flashlight. <clears throat> Duck will help. Let's go talk to Carly. <clears throat> talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was... I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> this is getting weird. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily <clears throat> talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. All right. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people go. <clears throat> totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Alright. <clears throat> I mean... Don't call me small. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um. Did you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I don't know what's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. <laughs> it uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. <clears throat> there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. All right. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to tell people who we really are. <clears throat> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubby. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. 
Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Quail, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you, and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your thing. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Clem understands what you did. That's good. It's a matter of Kenny and Katya. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Uh, we don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? Oh, no. I've always been there for Kenny. Carly's looking at us. It's now, serious. Now I'm telling oh, Kenny. No. What the she devil do to you? Shut, Shut up, man. <laughs> I killed someone. Different than Mario to St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh, I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and you know, I, I was worried. I just smashed the guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Yeah, I did. And you're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Mummy back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> it wasn't purposely. Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Snap. Well, looks like we're going to wrap it up right there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back in the next video. I just told Kenny, Clementine, and Katya who I was before the walkers. Katya doesn't seem too happy. Kenny and Clementine seem to accept my honesty, and they're okay with it. Let's see what happens next. Goodbye, Walking Dead fans.